we are examining two very interesting limits right hand sided limits both similar but very different outcomes the first one many of us are familiar with this limit as x approaches zero from the right values of x zero from the right that function being natural log x if you graph this you know it's one comma zero x intercept and the function looks like this as you approach zero from the right for this function it dips down towards minus infinity the function becomes asymptotic with your y-axis dipping down towards minus infinity and that right there is your end result and it will be correct. Now the other limit we're looking at is very similar to this but the product of another function to this limit drastically changes your end result. What is this limit? Limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Again right hand sided limit. I have x natural log x. Now if I put 0 in places of x I have a 0 and a minus infinity a product of these two in indeterminate limit form. It's vague, it's ambiguous. But how do you evaluate this? There's a procedure. You can do the derivative of a certain g function divided by derivative of the reciprocal of a certain f function. What's your g? What's your f function? If I make this my g function, the derivative of natural log x is always 1 over x. If I make this my f function, the derivative of 1 over x, the reciprocal is minus 1 over x squared, and then I would evaluate it at 0 or values to the right of 0. In which case, if I flip these fractions around, because you know you're doing fraction algebra here, you'll have minus x squared over x, and you're doing 0, and you'll have your minus x with 0 coming, and your end result here is 0. So the limit exists, but your end result here is a 0. This function drove or went down towards minus infinity. This comes here towards 0. The x has a bit of a pull to it. It pulls it up. It pulls this part up towards the origin, and when you graph it out, it looks like this. Zero is obviously not in the domain. It'll be an open value over there, or a point discontinued to look like this. And then you'll have a 1, comma 0 x intercept, and your function will look like this. And this is exactly what you're doing. If you're looking at natural log x, it's like this, but the x pulls it up towards the origin, you have an open value. The domain over here is zero, not including zero up to infinity. But look here at the domain of this. It's zero, not including zero, but up to infinity, and look, they're very similar, but the outcomes are very different.